we're standing here on the roof of the Food Met, uh, the market at Abattoir, in the uh, Abattoir farm, uh, which big building integrated greenhouse developed uh, over the last two years. Uh, this is already the largest uh, productive garden you see uh, behind us, uh, sitting on the roof uh, with 800 square meter, which is going to grow to 2,000 square meter. And we also have a greenhouse of 2,000 square meter. Um, the ID came to me as an architect working internationally uh, in the circular economy, cradle to cradle concept, which Derbigum uh, knows very well too. Um, we are developing this idea because in China, I saw in very large cities the fact that there was problems with logistics to bring fresh food in center of cities. People are used to grow this food outside the cities were now living in apartments and the, these cities are very polluted. So the whole challenge was to find a way of producing in an in a economically sustainable way high quality products in the city. So we started uh, just a couple of people uh, following my ID and, and uh, some, some technicians uh, as well. Uh, we looked for a place uh, to do it and the food met was under construction at that time and we uh, thought this was one of the best spots in the center of the city uh, in an area that needs employment, an area which also linked to uh, food. Uh, uh, the abattoir is called the belly of Brussels and it really made sense to, uh, to do this on this roof. Well, the main challenges were first to negotiate the space and then all the technology that goes with the project. We are talking about an aquaponic farm. Aquaponic farm is combining the raising of fish in fish tanks uh, in a closed circuit, which requires, uh, of course, uh, a lot of weight. Uh, we're about one ton per, per square meter. And uh, also to combine it with the heat coming from the fridges from the building downstairs, because we have a, a meat market downstairs and those fridges are working all the time. So we try to rely on, on energy loss of the building and improve the environmental impact of the building as a whole. Okay, we produce about 35 tons of fish per year, uh, 18 tons of tomatoes and uh, about 2,700 uh, aromatic herbs pots per week. And this goes to many shops, to restaurants and uh, all situated in Brussels area or around. Our idea is to be able to distribute this in short circuits, short distribution circuits, to make sure that we keep in the, the concept of circular economy, creating local employment, no waste, and uh, improving the building's performance. And as you can see the, the, the movement, uh, we are raising uh, lots of fish here, which is a striped bass. It's a seawater fish that also lives in estuaries, so it can live in uh, fresh water. Uh, we keep the water at 24 degrees, to produce about 35 tons of fish per year. Uh, the system is completely closed and we collect some of the water every day to clean the system. And the big difference here is rather than consuming sometime more than 20 cubic meter per kilo of fish produce, up to in some fisheries, open fisheries, up to 100 cubic meter per kilo of fish, we are coming down here to one cubic meter. This cubic meter is not wasted because it's used a second time by the plants and then evaporates in, in the greenhouse. We cannot produce everything in the city and depending on the climate, but I think it's a demonstration of how quality food can be produced and it's also an example for the countryside. Uh, the system we have here uh, which is really uh, clean in terms of no antibiotics, no pesticides, uh, no chemicals uh, or nasty uh, chemicals used in, in, in the growth of plants, but also no transport. No transport means that the product doesn't go into the fridge, doesn't, doesn't um, get ripe in, in a lorry and goes straight from the farm to consumers. Well, as an architect, I've worked a lot with Debegum uh, in the past and I know the, the, the quality of the product. But one thing that really interests me uh, as a cradle-to-cradle -cradle specialist is of course that Derbigum has entered into uh, this uh, change of paradigm uh, with the Derby Pure, which we have used here. Uh, we've used the Derby Pure in this farm because uh, it's in contact with food. Uh, we have it in, in, the, in the greenhouse, uh, on the edges, on the, uh, uh, on the protection of the concrete. And of course, we don't want to have any 
uh, emanations any uh, of gassing from the protection. And also it is white, so it reflects the light, which is very good uh, for the products. Uh, so it was very important to have the technical advice from Derbygum. So we had tricks were given uh, to us by Derbygum and this was a great help. This is the Derbygum GC and here have we the Derby Pure. We hebben voor de Derbygum GC gekozen voor zijn hogere ponsweerstand ten opzichte van een klassieke Derbygum, want er uh, komt een betonnen plaat op. Hier, de Derbygum uh, puur, werd gekozen voor zijn Cradle-to-Cradle certificaat. Het mengsel is gemaakt uit plantaardige oorje en arsen. Er komt dus geen bitumen aan te pas. Het is versterkt met een uh, composiet glas polyesterwapening en geïmpregneerd in een hoog reflecterende witte acrylcoating. Derbygum gelooft al jaar en dag in de vijfde gevel. Het platte dak beschermt ons niet alleen van de kou, de wind, de regen en de sneeuw, maar kan echt een functie hebben. Men kan heel veel doen op het platte dak. Men kan de vijfde gevel goed gebruiken en dit is een prachtig voorbeeld van hoe men de vijfde gevel kan gebruiken.